In today's journey through The Paradox Shift, an amended theory on time travel, we dive into a realm where science fiction blurs into science fact. Please join me in a fascinating peek into quantum physics, where we will have some fun experiencing the wonders of time travel theory and the application of quantum physics to achieve the real possibility of visiting and managing timelines. We explore a new and innovative theoretical construct, the Harmonic Convergence Framework for Spacetime Navigation, or HCFSN, and its intricate ties with the phenomenon known as the Mandela Effect. Prepare to challenge your understanding of time, memory, and reality with a new theory of time travel, expanding on the efforts of the forefathers of quantum physics and quantum theory. By the time this video ends, you will have a basic knowledge of quantum physics and its real possibilities for time travel without even realizing it. You don't have to be a genius when you're having fun learning. At the heart of our exploration is the time machine, not a vessel of steel and steam, but a sophisticated symphony of quantum mechanics and harmonic science. This machine is based on my theory of harmonic convergence framework for space-time navigation, which posits that space-time is a fabric woven with vibrational frequencies, each point in time and space resonating with its unique frequency. Central to navigating this complex web are quantum harmonic oscillators, devices that detect and resonate with the frequencies of space-time. These oscillators allow the machine to identify and lock on to specific temporal and spatial coordinates. Complementing these are adaptive resonance synthesizers. These sophisticated tools adapt and tune the machine's internal frequencies to precisely match those of the targeted space-time point, ensuring seamless entry and exit points for travel. To achieve actual transit, the machine employs a gravitational harmony shield. This advanced concept manipulates gravitational fields to minimize space-time drag, allowing the craft to navigate space-time currents without the distortive effects of high-energy travel. Quantum mechanics underpins the machine's operation. The principle of quantum temporal entanglement is particularly crucial. It suggests that all points in time are interconnected through a web of quantum entangled particles. By entangling the machine's particles with those of a target time and place, a bridge is formed, allowing for instantaneous travel. This entanglement is managed by the temporal phase alignment system which synchronizes the machine's internal quantum state with that of the target destination. This synchronization ensures stability and coherence during travel, maintaining the integrity of both the traveler and the timeline. Another key technology is the dimensional calibration system, which ensures that the machine navigates not only across time and space but also through the correct dimensional pathways as posited by string theory. In conjunction with these technologies, the resonance locking mechanism maintains a continuous and stable connection with the target space-time frequency, akin to a GPS system locking onto a satellite signal, but far more complex due to the multi-dimensional nature of space-time fluctuations. Now let's explore the Mandela Effect, where vivid collective memories often conflict with actual historical records. This documentary posits that such phenomena might not merely be quirks of human memory, but could be residues or echoes from alternate timelines accessed through time travel. Our time machine's interactions with the space-time fabric might create minor disturbances or ripples across the pond of reality that manifest as these collective false memories. By traversing harmonic convergence points where the fabric of reality is thinner, travelers might inadvertently shift or merge parallel realities. This theory is further bolstered by our understanding of quantum temporal entanglement, suggesting that every point in time might be intrinsically connected, not just in our timeline, but across potential multiverses. Each travel instance might therefore be a point of convergence for multiple realities. With great power comes great responsibility. The ability to traverse time is not without its ethical dilemmas and practical challenges. What are the ramifications of altering timelines? How does one navigate the moral landscape of potentially changing historical outcomes? Ethicists and philosophers debate the implications of time travel, highlighting key concerns like temporal paradoxes and the ethics of historical intervention. The practicalities of time travel are equally daunting. The energy management system of our machine must handle and regulate the immense power required to initiate and sustain time travel, utilizing advanced matter-antimatter reactions for an efficient power supply. Moreover, ensuring the safety of travelers and the stability of the timeline requires rigorous training and advanced simulation systems, preparing operators for the unpredictable dynamics of time travel. Imagine if one could tune into these cosmic frequencies, harnessing them to navigate the vast expanse of time and space, 
in a universe where every moment and location emits a unique melody. Welcome to the revolutionary world of the Harmonic Convergence Framework for Space-Time Navigation, a theory that dares to orchestrate the cosmic symphony. Picture a framework where each point in space-time is akin to a musical note, resonating with its unique frequency. This theory proposes that by comprehending and mapping these cosmic melodies, we could pinpoint specific moments and locations in the continuum of time. Now imagine the concept of quantum temporal entanglement. This is a phenomenon where particles, no matter how far apart, remain interconnected. This entanglement allows for instantaneous communication across time, potentially unlocking the door to actual time travel. The harmonic convergence framework is not just a grand theory. Its practical applications are as vast as the cosmos itself. From rectifying historical inaccuracies to averting global calamities, or even accelerating medical advancements by tapping into future discoveries, the possibilities are both exhilarating and daunting. Yet, with great power comes great responsibility. The ethical implications of time travel are vast and complex. Should we prevent past atrocities if they alter the present, better known as the butterfly effect? What about accessing technologies and information from the future? These are the moral dilemmas this framework thrusts upon us. The theoretical time machine designed under this framework is an architectural marvel. It integrates quantum harmonic oscillators and adaptive resonance synthesizers. These components are crucial for detecting and matching the cosmic symphony of frequencies, thus enabling precise navigation through time and space. Operating such a machine is not unlike conducting a grand symphony. The operator's role is pivotal in managing this complex interplay of cosmic frequencies, ensuring seamless navigation through the continuum of time. Every mechanical and quantum process would have to be exceptionally perfect, and therefore, while in transit, would be completely controlled by artificial intelligence during travel, as even the most minor of mistakes or aberrations could alter a given timeline and permanently introduce the time travelers to an alternate timeline where life as they knew it had slightly changed from the reality that they once knew. This is what we refer to as the Mandela Effect. What once was familiar has now slightly changed, just enough to notice, but insufficient to be certain. We have more to discuss in this video, but to summarize my theory so far, the harmonic convergence framework for space-time navigation and quantum temporal entanglement are revolutionary concepts that blend old-world quantum theory with a fresh and intriguing approach to the possibilities of time travel. Current artificial intelligence has approved my new theory as a potential functioning model for traversing time and space by tuning into specific frequencies imbued in the time-space celestial fabric. These combined theories propose that the universe is a cosmic symphony of infinite frequencies, each point in time resonating with a unique frequency, separated from all other frequencies, much like an AM radio, a cosmic melody where the time travelers, along with artificial intelligence, would essentially be the composers of this cosmic composition, where each trip would be a musical masterpiece as the travelers locked onto and traveled within their dedicated frequencies, thus suggesting the real potential to navigate time and space by understanding and mapping these frequencies. Yet the ethical implications are profound and demand our careful consideration. The time travel vehicle would have to circumvent the current laws of physics by quelling such forces as inertia, mass, and energy. Although no known practical application has been discovered to current, much has been pondered in theory and postulation. For the problem of inertia, it's common knowledge that, if humans were encased inside of a craft, and the craft was to accelerate to light speed or turn a 90-degree angle without slowing down, the human beings within the craft would strike the opposing wall so violently that their bodies would particulate and essentially paint the walls red with their sanguine fluids. To solve this problem, one would have to create an anti-gravity generator within the craft that repels the forces of gravity with the exact amount of force that is being imposed onto the craft. 
there would also have to be microwave emitters installed to generate high-frequency electromagnetic waves within the resonant cavity, extending out to the edge of the craft. This activity prompts the cavity to vibrate at an accelerated pace, much like an excited electron, producing a localized, polarized vacuum just beyond the external wall of the resonant cavity and the craft would be hidden essentially within a plasma bubble, in which the outside elements could not interact with. The craft inside the plasma bubble would be invisible to the outside elements. This technology would cancel out inertia in all directions within the craft, artificial intelligence would be needed to control the devices to perfection. There would have to be backup systems and even backup artificial intelligence were any one of these devices to fail. These systems would allow for light speed travel and turning the craft at a 90 degree angle on a dime without affecting the crew inside. Einstein discovered the most popular theory known to physics, E equals mc squared. This theory dictates that kinetic energy, defined as the energy associated with motion, is linked to mass. As an object's speed increases, its kinetic energy escalates exponentially, proportional to the square of its velocity. If the craft starts to approach speeds that the craft cannot handle, the gravity and kinetic energy would heat the craft exponentially, to the point that the craft would start to expand and ultimately dismantle or disintegrate. To solve this problem, one would have to have gravity and anti-gravity generators inside and outside of the craft, and more electromagnetic waves created by microwave emitters positioned on the edge of the craft. The craft would essentially have to be entirely encompassed in an envelope of electromagnetic and electrogravitic waves, with which the outside elements would interact, while ignoring the craft inside the electromagnetic envelope thus making the craft inside unseen to the elements outside of the EM bubble. It would also allow for the bending of light around the craft, as the craft is safely ensconced within the electromagnetic envelope. The outside elements will interact with the electromagnetic energy surrounding the craft, thus making the craft invisible to all, including the surrounding elements. In essence, it would simply be energy interacting with energy, while the craft hides inside the electromagnetic bubble. This would require a heavy element such as the theorized element 115 that Bob Lazar, a famous nuclear physicist, spoke of in the late 1980s. Element 115, a stable isotope, when bombarded with a proton, which would then key into the nucleus of element 115, transforming it into element 113, or nihonium, which immediately decays and releases small amounts of antimatter that are then collected and utilized within a small fusion reactor in the center of the craft. The antimatter is vacuumed into a small tube that separates it from other matter and then directed to a gaseous matter target at the end of the tube. The matter and the antimatter collide and annihilate, converting to a type of strong nuclear energy or atomic nuclei and the heat from the decayed matter is then converted into electrical energy to complete the 100% efficient thermonuclear generator. Bob Lazar was ridiculed by the scientific community in the 1980s as element 115 had not been discovered at that time however in 2003, a heavy element called ununpentium, later to be named moscovium, and the decay named nihonium, was said to be synthetically created by American and Russian scientists and claimed to be of no practical use. The general consensus suggests that this comment is deceptive. Whatever the element is to power this craft would have to be of a strong nuclear force and this would provide the energy needed to reach the speed of light, but not by thrust, as with our conventional aircraft. The accelerated potential of the craft would have to be a form of energy that wouldn't interfere with the electromagnetic field surrounding the craft. The propulsion system would be three anti-gravity generators beneath the time machine, more colloquially referred to as a UFO, and a central nuclear fusion reactor, mid-center of the craft. The craft would tip on its side in an Omicron configuration, much like the craft in the famous Tic Tac video. Then, when the generators are pointed in the direction of travel, the electrogravitic waves would increase in intensity to such a degree 
that the craft would slip into a time rip by exciting the elements, after which the desired frequency would be locked onto, to travel to any given point in the space-time continuum. In the Delta configuration, the craft would have its anti-gravity generators pointed downward if hovering in one place, or one pointed forward and two pointed downward to propel itself forward as it essentially floats upon the anti-gravity wave in front of the craft. This would explain the triangular-shaped Delta craft that many are reporting and showing in videos where the craft is triangular and there is a light on each end of the triangle. Any craft of any shape would be subject to the same quantum laws of force and energy. The craft could be elliptical, triangular, round, pyramidal, and even cube-shaped. The laws would apply to them all while referencing faster than light travel. The lights on each corner are anti-gravity generators, it would seem. The purpose of those generators is to create an anti-gravity field in which the craft would glide as if a surfer was riding a wave in front of his surfboard. In this configuration, the craft would infinitely ride the wave of anti-gravity that was generated in front of the craft to move in any direction it so desired. To combat overheating engine issues, as would be the case with conventional combustible engines that we use today, one would have to create an engine that had super cooling technologies. These engines have been created and have been successful, however, the government quickly swooped in to stifle the technology from public use, as they do with any technologies that would give us useful or free energy. If they can't make money from it by taxing you or charging you for usage, these technologies will never see the light of day in the public arena. Some have even lost their lives by releasing such technologies. I'm not saying that the government deleted these private scientists to silence them, but yeah, they did that shit. One way to supercool an engine would be a mercury-cooled anti-gravity engine, and another way would be a liquid helium-cooled engine, as liquid helium is the coolest element and cryogenic refrigerant known to mankind at an astonishing low temperature of minus 269 degrees Celsius or minus 452.2 degrees Fahrenheit, or 4.15 degrees Kelvin. This makes Antarctica seem like a tropical paradise by comparison. But let's not stop here people, we have more to discuss. Could the Mandela Effect, where large groups misremember common events or details, be evidence of time travel? This intriguing segment hypothesizes scenarios where time travel might explain these collective false memories, suggesting that alterations in the past could ripple into the collective consciousness. This segment speculates on the impact of time travel on global history. It discusses the potential for altering significant historical events and the ramifications such changes might have on the present, exploring both the possibilities of creating a better world and the risks of unintended consequences. Despite its potential, time travel comes with inherent risks, paradoxes that could unravel existence or cause catastrophic changes. This segment examines how the Harmonic Convergence Framework aims to mitigate these risks by allowing for a more controlled manipulation of the space-time fabric. Advanced navigation in time travel requires locking onto specific harmonic frequencies, utilizing sophisticated techniques such as resonance locking mechanisms and temporal phase alignment. This detailed segment explains how these techniques ensure precise and targeted travel within the vast coordinates of space-time. The gravitational harmony shield is crucial for managing gravitational drag, facilitating smoother transitions through space-time. This segment explores how the GHS aligns a craft's gravitational signature with its surrounding space-time, minimizing resistance and enhancing navigational efficiency. Contrary to their traditional portrayal as destructive endpoints, this segment presents black holes as potential gateways to other dimensions or times, exploring the dimensional nexus framework. It discusses how these cosmic phenomena might serve as conduits, rather than barriers. Time travel could potentially unify disparate branches of physics by providing practical applications for theoretical concepts. This segment explores how integrating principles from quantum mechanics and general relativity with the harmonic convergence framework could bridge gaps in our current understanding of the universe. Delve into the quantum mechanical foundation of the time machine, focusing on principles like entanglement and superposition. This segment highlights the profound connection between quantum mechanics and the operational principles of time travel, illustrating the deep scientific underpinnings that make it possible. Time travel has long captivated the imagination in films, books, and television. 
This segment analyzes how popular media represents time travel, comparing fictional portrayals with the scientific realities proposed by the Harmonic Convergence Framework, and discussing what these portrayals get right and where they diverge from scientific plausibility. Looking ahead, this segment speculates on the future advancements in time travel technology and their potential to transform human civilization. It considers the ethical, technological, and societal challenges we may face as we edge closer to making time travel a reality. Meeting one's past or future selves could have profound psychological and existential impacts. This segment explores the theoretical and emotional implications of such encounters, discussing how they could reshape our understanding of identity and personal history. This segment discusses measures to prevent the misuse of time travel technology, stringent temporal laws and monitoring systems are essential. The mechanisms required to safeguard the ethical use of time travel are imperative, ensuring it serves the greater good without causing harm or exploitation. This segment explores the potential of using time travel for ecological preservation, theorizing how future technologies could be implemented today to reverse the damage of weather warfare from sinister governments and to offer solutions for weather modification to help humanity climatize arid regions of the world, better known as third world countries, presenting a unique and optimistic perspective on tackling one of humanity's greatest challenges. Ending on a powerful note, this segment discusses the potential of time travel to rectify historical wrongs or solve cold cases. It speculates on the ethical and practical implications of using time travel as a tool for justice, exploring both the potential benefits and the profound moral questions it raises. As we conclude our exploration into the Harmonic Convergence Framework for Space-Time Navigation and its multifaceted implications, we stand on the brink of what could be the next great frontier of human achievement mastery over time itself. This final segment invites us to look forward beyond the boundaries of current understanding and technological capabilities to envision the future that time travel could create. In the theoretical landscapes of quantum physics and the intricate ballet of cosmic frequencies, the future of time travel holds not just the promise of revisiting our past or glimpsing our future, but the potential to fundamentally alter our perception of reality. With each hypothetical leap through time, we uncover more about the universe's underlying fabric, challenging and expanding the very laws of physics that govern our existence. Yet, as we peer deeper into this possibility, new questions emerge. What ethical frameworks will we need to navigate the moral quandaries of altering timelines? How will societies adapt if historical events can be rewritten, or if future outcomes can be foreseen? These questions demand thoughtful consideration as we approach the precipice of temporal exploration. The promise of time travel also beckons the bright minds of future generations, scientists, philosophers, policymakers, and dreamers, to continue refining our theories and expanding the boundaries of what we believe is possible. Each step forward in this journey not only brings us closer to navigating through time, but also to understanding the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. As this documentary series concludes, let it not be an end but a gateway to further inquiry and speculation. The future of time travel, filled with its vast potential and profound challenges, awaits those bold enough to explore its horizons. Let us step forward with caution and curiosity, ever mindful of the delicate fabric of time that we hope to traverse.